friend, I am going to discuss a very important topic, laboratory diagnosis of invasive fungal infection and what are the advancements is there. Now, what is the clinician expect from the lab? Clinician expects that you should diagnose this as early as possible and you have to identify the fungus. If we can identify, you can also do the antifungal susceptibility test. But at present, everybody is doing fast and in case of fungal disease, Antimortem diagnosis should be as fast as possible and because of that people are feeling the need of point of care test. But success story is not so good because laboratory diagnosis with the best of the laboratory facility cannot be more than 50 percent. And that is also a problem in case of delay in diagnosis. Why? Because in several studies whether it is candida, aspergillus, mucor, if you start therapy late there is higher mortality which have been reported. So, you have to diagnose early and prompt therapy. So, what happens mostly that clinicians they usually go with fever driven approach. They if his patients do not respond after 3 days of antibiotic they start antifungal. So, that can sleep if the patient is on antifungal. But you know what is the cost of antifungal and this popularity is causing problem. Even the management of antifungal therapy is quite difficult. There is issues of drug interaction, there are issues of toxicity, all these make us to feel that we need early diagnosis. So, in case of principles of laboratory diagnosis that we should have proper sample collection that is very important. You have to transfer it promptly. You have to have this, you have the skill and experience of a laboratory. Conventional diagnosis usually go with direct microscopy, histopathology and culture. Finally, it is identification and susceptibility test. Of course, now the non-culture methods are rather emerging important is the sero diagnosis, biomarker detection and molecular diagnosis. So, go one by one, where do we stand? In case of sample collection, it is difficult to avoid the colonizer to collect the deep tissue, but you know nowadays the clinicians are becoming much more aggressive, they can do by CT guided a fine needle aspiration or even lung biopsy that helps in case of early diagnosis. Direct microscopic culture histopathology we usually say it is insensitive, slow and difficult to distinguish from colonizer. But friends I would say that this is one of the very important tests. If you can pick up a pneumocystis, you can give the specific therapy. Even if you can see sometimes the mycelial fungi and it can be diagnosed within few minutes. In case of identification, if you go by the phenotypic method, it is time consuming, need expertise. But when if you can have the multi